Stage four of the UAE tour, a race you can watch live and on demand on GCN Plus in all territories except New Zealand. And you will be tempted. It's been an amazing race so far. Two sprint days and a time trial, but today, time to climb. One of two mountain stages, Jabal Jais on this stage four. And after two sprinting days, of course, Jabal Hafit to decide our champion. It was definitely a day for those bidding for the title to take a step forward. Stepping forward for the duties of being in the breakaway, Luca Rastelli of Bardiani and Jakob Eggholm of Trek Sagafredo. Nobody else really wanted the task. Well, the chase was engaged by EF Education Easy Post, of course, defending with honour the red leader's jersey sitting on the back of Stefan Bissiger after a sensational time trial victory yesterday. Mark Cavendish tasting the tarmac along with a couple of others. A wheel touch and down he went and after a concussion protocol check he was okay. Back to the office. Well, some equipment changes later. He drifted up to Tom Dumoulin who offered up a little bit of sympathy along the way. Great stages the pair of them. Tom Dumoulin after an exceptional time trial finishing third and beating Pugaccia and many others surely with confidence to take on this day. In the green jersey, you could say the same for Jasper Philipson. He himself, top 10 in the time trial, remarkable, and was absolutely on it. The winner of stage one had been the leader of this race. Came to the intermediate sprint determined to make sure that Strakov did not make it a closer distance in that competition. Philipson will be on duty again in the next coming two stages. They for the fast men, Fast men and fast legs, though, were bound to suffer on this day. The breakaway was caught on Jabal Jais, and then the battle plan started to reveal itself. Danny Bacaccia was on the radio, he was calling for action, and he got it. A pace change. Rafa Maika setting off. Who would be tempted to join him? Vlasov was the answer. Well, some great rocking and rolling all the way up this mountain. And in fact, some were leaving something behind and Tom Dumoulin was one of those. After his efforts in the time trial yesterday, maybe just a bit too much. Danny Bogaccia then had to take on the duty himself and in fact he was prying and testing the likes of Yates, Guerrero from IF Education. Big phalanx of talent for Intermarche Wanti in this race. Louis Menkes was in the bunch but Jan Hurt and Ryan Tarame were softening up absolutely everybody. As determined as they were, so were UAE Team Emirates to put every fire out. In the end, Tali Pogaccia had burnt all his men. Adam Yates looked certainly likely, especially the way that Luke Platt, the Australian champion, was riding. Last 1,500 metres, steepest part of the race, about 9%, and really it was starting to thin down. Although nobody could really take on the challenge of trying to outsprint Pogaccia at this point, and so we had a regrouping. Around 16 riders were going for it. Who then, when we got to the Flamme Rouge, would take a big bite out of this mountain? First to be tempted out there. Well, Guerrero was certainly one of them for EF Education Easy Post. But as it looked, UET Emirates were offering up a sprint train for Tali Bogaccia. Well, Luke Plapp went for it at the barriers. He picked up the pace, almost demanding that others followed. This would ultimately help Adam Yates' cause, of course. And he followed the wheel, naturally, of Tali Bocaccia. Well, they were rocking and rolling with the punches. But ultimately, somebody had to grasp the nettle. Guerrero it was that went for it. Who would chase on? Tali Bocaccia, of course. No panic, despite the fact Vlasov was on his case and Adam Yates was there as well. Pogaccia, always a good bet in a mountain sprint, and that's precisely what he produced. In the end, it was a goodly margin, though given the same time as Yates and Vlasov at the line. Just behind this group and chasing on to the back of it, Pippo Ghana, remarkably. Ghana finding himself at the end of the day just two seconds in arrears of Tele Pogaccia, who took the day. Guerrero in fourth head of House and Bardet, Hindley, Bouchard, Jan Hurt and Pelo Bilbao. 
What an amazing day in the mountains it was. Two sprint days to come and another climbing day, of course, to Jabal Hafid. UAE Team Emirates, it's the home team. And Tadej Pogacar, very at home as our glorious leader. Who's going to stop him? Well, Garner will be working for Yates, ultimately, you can be sure of that. But he sits in second place, Vlasov in third, the aforementioned Yates in fourth, ahead of Paulus. That's your top five, blanketed by 23 seconds. It's tight. Two days of sprinting, however, are in the offing. Tomorrow, we're heading for the mighty palm on stage five. Certainly one for the sprinters, but with the amazing roster of fast men that we have, it's almost impossible to predict who will take the victory. Can Philipson do it again? Can Mark Cavendish do so? Will Sam Bennett come to the fore? Can Viviani turn it on? Well, they and many other sprinters will hope that it goes well. We do too. We'll see you on stage five.